Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on the topic carbon and its compounds. And for today we are going to look at the oxides of carbon and the oxide we are going to be discussing today is carbon dioxide. We already discussed on carbon and we looked at the properties of carbon. So we are just going to see on the preparation part. This is one of the most tested uh, sections on carbon and its compounds topic so pay attention and for and follow as we discuss so carbon dioxide is found in air it's uh, account for 0.03 percent by volume it can also be found or it's produced in some industries for example in limuru kenya where it's usually extracted as a mineral the lab, it can be prepared uh, by reacting uh, calcium carbonate, which is also referred to as marble chips or sodium hydrogen carbonate with dilute hydrochloric acid. So this is the setup. As you can see, we have the dilute hydrochloric acid in the dropping panel. It reacts with the calcium carbonate to produce uh, a certain product, which are passed through sodium hydrogen carbonate uh, conical flask and which are also passed on concentrated sulfuric six acid and collected on the gas jar. So let's see what happens. So carbon dioxide is prepared by reacting calcium carbonate with dilute hydrochloric acid. Effervescence occurs releasing carbon dioxide gas. And then the gas is going to be passed through sodium hydrogen carbonate or water to remove traces of hydrochloric acid fumes in the gas. So we can use sodium hydrogen carbonate or water. So watch out for that, especially when it comes to the questions. The purpose is to remove any traces of hydrochloric acid fumes. And then if we want to get the gas as dry, we dry it using concentrated sulfuric six acid as you can see in the conical flask, or we can use anhydrous calcium chloride that is placed in a U-tube. So these ones are drying agent. So other carbonates can be used uh, with a suitable acid. So for example, dilute sulfuric acid should not be reacted with calcium carbonate because it forms um, a an insoluble surface. It shouldn't also be reacted with barium carbonate because it also forms an insoluble barium sulfate and also should not be reacted with lead carbonate because it forms an insoluble lead sulfate. So this uh, insoluble salt usually coat the metal, the metal carbonate, uh, stopping the reaction. Also, dilute hydrochloric acid should not be reacted with lead carbonate. It is going to produce lead chloride, which is insoluble. So let's look at the equations for the reactions of um, preparation of carbon dioxide. So we said we are going to use calcium carbonate. We we'll react it with hydrochloric acid and its dilute to form calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide gas plus hydrogen gas. So let's see if the question is balanced. So we have one calcium both sides. We have two carbons both sides. We have three oxygens, but not really both sides. You can see we only have oxygen, uh, three oxygens on this side. We have two oxygens, hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen, we have two. Chlorine, we have uh, two. So you can see this is not balanced. So let's balance the equation. So we made a slight error with the water. So we are going to balance the hydrogen. So you put a two and the chlorine and the equation is balanced. So we can also use uh, sodium carbonate uh, with uh, dilute sulfuric acid. So we are going to form sodium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. 
So let's see if the equation is balanced. We have two sodium both sides, one carbon both sides, uh, seven oxygens both sides, one sulfur both sides. So everything is balanced here. So we can also react um, maybe zinc carbonate with also hydrochloric acid to form a zinc chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. So the balancing is going to be the same as before. Remember this is Cl2. So these are some of the reactions. Of course, we have others that we have not mentioned, but we have said we should not use the ones that would form the insoluble salts. So let's look at a few questions. The setup, uh, a student set up the apparatus shown below to prepare and collect dry carbon dioxide gas. So we have the dilute uh, sulfuric acid with calcium carbonate passed through the conical flask with concentrated sulfuric acid then passed through the water and then collected by upward delivery. States are correction for the three mistakes. So the first mistake you will notice is that the delivery tube, even before we go to the delivery tube, we say that you cannot use calcium carbonate with dilute sulfuric acid because you know it's going to form insoluble calcium sulfate. So uh, the use of sulfuric acid will form will form an insoluble salt. So using dilute, so we can use dilute hydrochloric acid instead. And then another mistake you notice is the, when you are we are getting the dry carbon dioxide, you see we are put we are passing it on water. We are not supposed to do that. The dry the dry carbon dioxide should not be passed uh, over the water. It makes it wet yet we want it dry. Another mistake is the method of collection. So carbon four oxide is not collected by upward delivery because it's heavier than air. We have not discussed this in details about this, but we will in the next lesson. So we should use downward displacement of air. Downward delivery, sorry, downward delivery, not displacement. All right, so next, uh, a Form 3 student of ANSA High School used the setup drawn below in attempt to prepare dry carbon dioxide. Study it carefully and use it to answer the questions that follow. So you can see the dilute hydrochloric acid in the distal panel lowered in marble chips. And then it passes through a tube containing substance D and then another tube containing substance E. Identify two faults in the setup of the apparatus. So first of all, you notice when we look at um, the tube containing substance E, you see the delivery tube is supposed to be in the solution and the one that is picking the gas is supposed to be above. And then you notice also the method of collection is, has not been specified. As for the thistle funnel, the thistle funnel is okay because it has dropped into the solution and then the gas peaks. So the thistle funnel also should have a tap because what happens is the gas can come back like up in the, in the thistle funnel. 
So we should use a dropper instead with a tap, which can help like when the acid has been added, the gas is going to be produced, it doesn't like go back. Complete the diagram to show how dry carbon dioxide gas can be collected. So we said it is heavier, so it's collected by downward delivery. So we just show that. So as you can see, the, air is, the gas is coming downwards like that. And then name substance D and E. So substance D is meant to remove any hydrochloric fume. So it can be water or it can be sodium hydroxide, hydrogen carbonate, not hydroxide. And then uh, hydrogen carbonate. And then we said that the purpose of the water is to remove the hydrochloric acid fumes. And so substance E will be concentrated, sulfuric acid, and it's for drying the gas. And then uh, write the equation for the reaction in the flask. So it's calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride plus carbon four oxide plus water and then we balance this equation we put a two here and it's going to be balanced sit and explain the observation made when dilute sulfuric acid is used in place of hydrochloric acid so a uh, little or no carbon dioxide will be produced because of formation of insoluble calcium sulfate that stops coats the metal carbonate and stops the reaction. That's it. So we we'll stop there. There are more questions. You are going to look at them later on uh, in the next lesson. So see you in the next session.